everybody, it's me, Miss Molly from Hunt Valley Church. I'm going to tell you a true story from the Bible today. Let's sing the B-I-B-L-E song to get ready. Oh, the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E Bible. Yes, the Bible is an amazing book. And this story is about a man named Jonah. Can you say Jonah? Jonah. Great. Okay. Now, we're learning about how God's way is perfect. Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes. So, in the Bible, God told Jonah to go to a place called Nineveh. And you say Nineveh? Nineveh. All right, now Nineveh is that way. Over there. Can you point with me? Nineveh, that way. Okay, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. So, do you think he went to Nineveh? Nope. Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. Jonah went the other way. Everyone say, no, Jonah. No, Jonah. Remember, Nineveh was that way. But Jonah went the other way, away from Nineveh. And he got on a boat. And he sailed away, far away from where God told him to go. Oh, no. God's way is perfect, and Jonah was not going God's way. So he was on the boat, and all of a sudden a big storm came with rain. Can you make your hands like rain? And thunder, crash, 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 and waves, whoosh, whoosh, and wind. Can you make a big storm with me? Rain, wind, waves. Jonah knew that the storm was there because he was not following God's way. So Jonah threw himself off the boat into the water and the storm stopped. God sent a big, big fish in the water. Can you make your body really big? Big, big fish. And do you know what that fish did? It swallowed Jonah up. All gulp. <laughs> so Jonah was gulped up inside the belly of this fish. And when he was in there, he prayed. He said, God, I am so sorry that I did not listen and go your way. I praise you because I know your way is perfect. And then do you know what happened? God had the big fish spit Jonah out on the beach. So Jonah was out. And this time, when God told him to go to Nineveh, remember Nineveh's that way, this time, do you think Jonah listened? Yes, he did, because he knew God's way was perfect. So Jonah went to Nineveh, and guess what? Because he went to Nineveh, the people there they learned that God's way was perfect, too. That is a great true story from the Bible. Friends, I love learning about God and how his way is perfect. Let's go with Miss Wendy and praise God and sing and dance. Hello, everyone, and happy almost Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. So we have been talking about Jonah. Thank you, Miss Molly, for that awesome story. And there are a lot of times where I just don't want to do what God wants me to do. But God is God's way is perfect. Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's right. Let's stand and sing about that today. <laughs>
Try that with me. Point up. Say God's way. God's way is perfect. Is perfect. Second Samuel. Second Samuel. Twenty two thirty one. Twenty two thirty one. Let's put it all together. God's way is perfect. Second Samuel twenty two thirty one. God's way is perfect. Let's pray and thank God. Dear God, thank you for the story of Jonah. Thank you that you showed him that your way was perfect and that even though he did not listen at first, that you showed him your way and that he went to Nineveh. God, your way is perfect back in the Bible and today for us. Help us to see your way and to follow you. Amen. Friends, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And don't forget, Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Have a great day, friends. Bye. Hi, friends. I hope you enjoyed the story of Jonah. Today, we have some fun activities that you can try at home. I have different ones depending on what supplies you have. Hopefully, you can try at least one of these. The first that can help you retell the story is you can create a big fish and a little Jonah attached to him. And you can put Jonah into the fish and use this to retell the story to your family. One of the ones I tried is this printable that we have for you. 
And here's Joan, or here's the fish with an empty belly. And then here he is, I just slide this through with Jonah. And then here he is afterwards without Jonah. And when we do that, we can make Jonah come out of his mouth. So this is just another fun thing we can try at home. Or if you're into coloring, we have this printable with Jonah and the big fish. All these you can use to help retell the story to someone in your house. Throughout the story, we heard about Jonah and how he didn't go God's way in the beginning, but then he went God's way. So you can talk about going different ways by doing a maze. So you could use sticks outside, little blocks, and move a character through it. You could do a floor maze. You could use Legos. So many different options to make your maze and talk about the story and about the different ways you can go. And finally, for our Bible verse, our Bible verse is God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. You could take some sidewalk chalk outside and draw either hopscotch or a path and go through those activities and say the Bible verse as you go and talking about how you're going this way and God's way is perfect. I hope you get to check out some of these activities. I've emailed them to you if you're on our email list. If you're not and you'd like them, just email me at Brittany at HuntValleyChurch.org. We hope to see you soon.